Hey guys, Caleb with White Metal Games here. Just a quick little video uh, update today. Um, I've been experimenting with outsourcing to other studios just to do some projects and play some catch up and, and just to experiment with um, subcontracting through other services. So I um, sent out this squad of orcs um, and I had requests to have them painted. Well, I didn't really send them out because the client who did this, well, let me back up. So there's a painting service out in Scotland called Dark Materials Miniatures. Uh, the guy uh, who runs it is uh, amazing. His name is Fraser Hepburn, and uh, he just does really nice work. And so we negotiated some orcs, and I asked him to do me uh, about seven. Um, and I, I just had him purchase the box overseas, paint them up, send me the spares, because I'm using the spares for some conversion. And uh, I just said, you know, just seven boys with, uh, with um, sluggas and... Uh, choppers and so he complied and they came in and I really think the work is just really good I'm gonna to try to put the camera down just so I can get it nice and steady and sort of steady it and give you a nice uh, cross view here um, so these are the the orcs and I, I just think he really did really nice work and one of the reasons I selected Fraser or Dark Materials Miniatures is that he's rebuilding his photo gallery apparently he lost a bunch of his photos a long time ago and because he's rebuilding it he is in a unique position where he can charge his clients less than he would normally charge uh, because he's trying to basically just get a bunch of commissions done really quickly. Um, so it took him a few weeks to get them done. Mostly of the delay was in shipping, I think, uh, just because it is from Scotland, but he charged me a fair rate for that. These guys, I think, cost me, I don't know, it's less than $10 a piece. Um, he was just a really, really fair price. Um, so if you're looking for someone to do some work for him, you, I, I can tell you, firsthand just by looking at these that he does exquisite work. His detail is very fine and crisp. Um, it, it's, I would say, beyond a tabletop job. There's some very fine line work. If you really close, look really closely there, you can see some nice little stripes on the top of this guy's head. Kind of maybe look like, a, like scar tissue or something. His highlighting, he's got a nice layering effect going here. Uh, the layers are subtle, so it's hard to tell unless you're close up. And um, some nice shading little weathering on the axes and uh, just a really nice looking miniature so you know I highly recommend dark materials miniatures um, uh, again you know I, I think what is good for other miniature services is also good for us so if, if we can promote other services we will certainly try and I do think Fraser did some good work here on these orcs and he's got other stuff on his website so I think his website is darkmaterialsminiatures.blogspot.com but I'll put a link below in the show notes um, and be sure to check them out because um, Frazier definitely puts his minis where his mouth is. Mm -hmm.